Now listen, all the other guys will be like 100 gold, optimize my chance of winning. But here on Jeremiah's stream, we transfer two cards and get really lucky. Let me let me let me think about this actually. Um <clears throat> Did I forget my juice box? I forgot my juice box, guys. Can you believe it? The one thing I cared about most. Well, I probably, I'm not on a strict right now, no. 100 gold is not okay. We get a nice shop here to use it. And then we have a lot of hallway fights into some one event. And then we get to three leads. All right, 100 gold is the, it is what it is. Let's go. Are any, are any guys playing Mountain Blade? Thoughts on it? How is it? How is Mountain Blade? Two banner lord, that's what I meant to say. Mountain Blade 2. I know I know you played more okay. The The immediate skip on floor one. Maybe we can make clash work. And slam boss. Oof. Busy eating right now. Well, we play Mordhal together. How similar is it to Mordhal? It has a little bit other things going on. It's not just like Mordhal, right? There's like other things going on. From what I saw, you have like peasants and stuff. Not close enough. Orby. Searing blow deck? Feed. Close line. Feed. That's a nice start. Can make things work. Cleave for AoE. Okay, we gotta get rid of our strikes, guys, because uh, we got a lot of strikes in our deck. Do we want to get Wild Strike for Perfection Strike Synergy? <laughs> we second wind. Yes, like Wild Strike with Perfection Strike Synergy. And like add a random as wound in our deck. Ah, that's not good at all. Cleave for AoE? Sure. We have so many attacks in our deck. We have no block. This is terrible. This is tragic, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Clash? Wait a minute. Is this feed? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let's get the feed off. Okay. Give me block. Bronze Thunderbeard with a tier one sub. Welcome back, buddy. How you doing? Thank you, thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, 149, baby. 351 to go. No big deal. Let's do it, boys. Okay. Armage is like a block card. You can upgrade my... Yes, I'll do it. Is the gold good here? I pivot to the shop? Yes. This is like maybe the most versatile upgrade I can get because I need a lot of upgrades and we're struggling. Upgraded for you, that's pretty pog. A hard fight though. This is a very hard fight. Wow. Clash is gonna pop off. Clash is gonna pop off. Clash is gonna pop off. 
Clash is gonna pop off. Tell me I can do second wind, thunderclap, clash feed. Tell me I can do that. Tell me that's, that exists. You guys are sleeping on clash. No, 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 you guys are sleeping on clash. We all know a clash. Power through for block. We need it. All right. So what I wanted to do was like go for the shop because I got this gold. But there's events. You know what? I have an idea. Okay, okay. Ginger's very good. Charing's ashes for this, for this fight in particular, very good. Let's go, Clash. Give me feed. Now we wait for dazes and we need uh rejoice. I should upgrade a feed maybe instead of resting. Boom boom boom. Helix is fantastic. We're getting amazing relics. Absolutely rare after rare after rare. Wait a minute, is that a corruption? Wait a minute. Slow down. I shouldn't. I couldn't. Oh wait, that's a, that's a little bit awkward, my friends. Is this worth a block pot? I'm wasting my buffer for one damage. That's tragic. When in reality, I should have just done second second win when I made a difference. Yeah, it wasn't. That was a conundrum. That was a conundrum. The best solution is to kill the guy in the middle and make my buffer mean something. And then be vulnerable and have to fight this guy, which the, ideally you want to do that. I guess buffer means something like that. Maybe I'd block by here. Is it worth it? Not really. So if we bash strike at 17, 17 plus 3 is 20, not enough. If I close line, I save more life. Ow. Okay. Good morning, happy Gorgo. Where are you living today? It's morning time for you. You wanna go for eat? You wanna go eat, Isaac? Let's go eat, buddy. All right, guys. A lot of distractions this this time of day. Feed my dogs. I'm not gonna feed Albie because he's been diarrhea. Now, it's good dog practice to not feed your dogs if they had diarrhea, right? I've had dogs for a long time. I should know this. I'm not gonna feed them. I don't think. How am I supposed to play this out? <laughs> Is this a block pot turn to get feed off? Bob weakness for strength skilling, not bad, right? How's your class, Michael? I'm about to do another elite now, huh? Fault he is very good for stun boss. This is a very good run so far. 3.20, 7am, gotta love the midnight streams. Nice. From all over the world, I love it. How you doing, David? If we pop corruption, fight should be free, free, right? Yes or no? Corruption's good here, yeah? a really bad turn. I 
really unfortunate tournament. Maybe it was damage reworthy? I don't know, maybe it was. What's important here is that we want to get feed. So maybe I don't do any damage locks, I want to get feed, right? Because if I block for a decent amount, Terran Jester already kills. So we want to get feed, yeah? But I'm scared that Terran Jester is already going to kill, actually. Nice, David. I'm glad I can provide that, man. We always want feed, but I don't think feed is even doable here. We'll try. I did too much damage. It's not worth taking this much damage from feed. That's a Reaper and a Disarm. Can I have all three, please? Everybody for spell weakness. Re Reaper, okay. And we got a shop. Remember how we said we have uh, question marks and we got this gold event that I was unsure about, but we got a shop potentially in the... That pellets, Dark Embrace. So we got Dark Embrace Corruption. We got a Flame Bear for some more block. Pellets is very strong. Pellets on the moment doesn't do that much for us, but we have a flex pot, so we can keep that flex pot strength. We also have Berserk in the pool. We've got uh, all the things that Pellets can interact with, mainly Berserk. Let's try this out. I mean, I don't mind the curse. Because I don't get weakened, but I, I guess I mind the curse. I do mind the curse. The effect of the curse doesn't mean that much. I still have a, a negative draw from the curse. I still have anti-class synergy, which is kind of flathable to think about, but... We still mind the curse here. We mind it a little bit less with ginger and stuff. Is it worth to take it with ginger? We have second wind in the deck. Might be worth. It's a lot of gold. Ginger exists, Second Wind exists. Hey. Okay. Do I upgrade? Do I upgrade feed for Act 2? Do I upgrade piercing, piercing Strike to have... In fact, strike rather to have more uh, burst in this fight. Is this fight okay for us? Yeah, this fight's great for us. This is a great fight for us. I'll be honest. I don't like perfected strike going forward. So upgrading it feels bad for me. I don't. I don't like upgrading perfected strike. I'd rather upgrade like a bash or a close line. I'd rather upgrade dark embrace to make it more playable. We could upgrade feed for act two. The thing is, Perfect Strike is not going to be worse and worse as I remove strikes. That's my number one goal. Uh, Dragon Brace is playable. Corruption more playable. More weakened, more bash. I think bash is probably the best. Maybe it's just feed. Maybe honestly it's just feed. Feed for Act 2. Hmm. Is it Cleave for this fight in particular? Are we worried about this fight? Do we want Cleave upgraded? I feel like this fight should be free with Charon's Dash's Corruption. Maybe I'm underestimating it, overestimating it. Mm. No, I think I'm fine. With Felix and uh, Charon's Dash's from Second Wind, I think we're totally fine here. I don't know what I want to do in terms of upgrades. Maybe it's just the clothesline. Maybe this is good for Act 2 as well, though. Maybe for Act 2. Let's go, baby. Like greed took over. At what point do we do flex spot? Do we waste in here? I can save my buffer altogether, but this is a terrible split. I'll be splitting him at 72. Terrible split. Terrible split. But we save buffer. And we have Dark Embrace Corruption coming up. Oh, 
Once I get corruption dragon base out, it's fine. But if I get them on the same turn, I'm hating my life. Not hating my life, but you know, it's not not the greatest. If I kill, if I split them now, I could get spot weakness on the on the minions as well. How much is worth saving buffer? I don't want to wait long enough where, like, I don't have a lot of good attacks coming up. Yeah, I go now. Huge. Massive. Huge. I know this looks scary. And I'm going to be honest. I really want to play Corruption. I might have to not play it. And if I don't play, I might be losing. So let's say let's say we have to do like close nine feed. No. The question is, are we doing Gamma's Brew now though? I mean the Gamma's Brew sometimes pops off. Sometimes. I can get a much better turn with Gamma's Brew though, right? Like I just the worst case scenario I take this hit now. I have Gamma's Brew for another turn. I don't think we do games for now. Uh, I don't think we games for now, yeah? No, we don't. We just take this hit. Alrighty, boys. Fortune life and dream. Supposed to be hard through now? Am I supposed to? I feel like Amber's Brew now and go for like big Thunderclap stuff. Am I supposed to leave this guy alive and then attack this guy, diversify the damage? Is that too much damage? It's missed exactly at 36. Put some right at the split range. Maybe I'm supposed to split them like this. It means I waste my block though. Makes this play a lot better. Look for Thunderclap here. Thunderclap is about weakness. Wait, I didn't get my feet off. Fuck, why did I do that? I actually just missed feed. I am such a horny bunny for the kill, I forgot feed. Ugh, my bad. I am, I am forever ashamed. Alright. Berserk pellets, it has arrived. Now I know Impervious is really good and so is Exhum. Holy shit. Can I get all three, please? Exhum for Reaper. And everything else we might be getting in our life with corruption, exhum becomes double dual purpose. Could be another power through, another spot weakness. Who knows? Then impervious is just really good front loaded block, which our deck desperately wants some block. And then berserk is a pellet for more energy, which could be insurance for no energy relic. Ah, decisions. This is what the game is made out of. Well, there's only one right decision we can make here. Ah, there's so many good things here. Impervious is really good too, guys. Hmm. I think Chai has to. I think Chai has to decide. Let's make a poll, guys. Make a poll. One, two, three. Energy insurance. Did I do this wrong? Okay, I fucked up. Give me a second. Wait, 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 not yet, 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 choose. What? I got it, wait.
There you go, guys. Vote it up, vote it up, vote it up. Not in the chat, not in the chat. There's a poll. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with my homie here and see what we get here. Wow. Well, it looks like we got. Well, okay, okay. We're getting some bazookas. It's getting kind of neck and neck. Bazooka, exhume, which one is it? Looks like the people want Berserk. They're all so good. It should be said, actually, that with corruption, energy is less important. It might be exhumed here, guys. Ah, it's really neck and neck. It should be said that with corruption, energy is less important. Okay, where's Berserk? I need energy. Where's Berserk? I need energy. Where's Berserk? Fuck. Guys, you guys were right. You guys were right. I should have believed in you guys. Fuck me. Anyways, so we can do... Pandora's box. <laughs> like, I had a feeling for energy insurance was gonna be... You know, somebody just had these feelings. Corruption still exists. Boom! Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I got very excited, but a lot of these things are not that good. But some of them are pretty good. Some of them are not that good. Okay. Can we do three elites on this deck? Three elites and a sparkle. Or we want to just do a singular sparkle this run. We want to maybe do hollow effects because we want feed. How functional is this deck? How functional? Is this a three elite deck? This doesn't seem like a functional three elite deck. Hey boys, relax. Okay, no more. The deck is pretty good actually. I like it. Is the three elite good though? Mm, I'm not sure. Might be. Might be three elite good. Or it could go for events. It might just be like go this way. And get a singular sparkle. I have to separate the boys. They're going crazy, guys. Ah, oh, man. It might be this path for three leads, but that's a lot of hallway fights. And maybe if you don't want less hallway fights, we just go this path and do one sparkle. It's a lot of late pull fights, though. A lot of hard pull fights. I can't think. My dogs are going crazy, guys. Look at them. Oh, I can't even show you this. It's not. It's just TOS. Can't even think. I hate that the alternative option for like what might be safer is only one elite. When I think this could potentially do more elites. Uh. Alright, I'm glad we did one elite only. Uh, this deck sucks. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I mean, we, we made the right choice. Boys, relax. They don't listen. They don't listen. Maybe, maybe I failed as a father. Maybe I have failed as a father because they do not listen to me. They're unbridled. Okay, I'm glad we did one elite. We're not going anywhere with this deck. Goodbye. Okay, strength scaling. Oh yeah, okay. We got this, baby. We got this. Alright, I'm separating the boys. Chance to even up the score. Cause if you got something to say, 
Say it to me now. Check this out, boys. Check this out. You guys are not ready. You do this into this so that this becomes that. I didn't get feed off. Oh my god. I was so excited talking all this nonsense. I didn't get feed off. All right. I'm focusing it up. I'm sorry. I'm focusing it up. Imagine not getting feed off with a deck that's this trash. Oh my. No, the branch. Battle Trance helps though. Medkit might be the saving grace. Medkit Dark Embrace could give us the card draw with power three that we have in the deck. Medkit might be the saving grace for this deck. Medkit Dark Embrace makes Battle Trance feel worse. If we remove a card, what are we removing? Is it even worth spending money on removal here? Perfect Rex gotta go. Yeah, that's worth it. Perfect Rex gotta go. You're kidding me. Hey, okay, what else gotta go? At this point, I feel like. I feel like Bash has gotta go. Remove the curse, but I have ginger. I don't know, it doesn't make that much sense. I mean, there's some world where curses are okay, like blue candle and doodah, and I don't know. I mean, maybe I should get rid of it, but there's negative draw. I can second wind it. I can't second wind bash. Look. I can't second win Bash, I can second win Doubt. Happy birthday, L. I already did. I, guys, I built her an elliptical. I spent the more, more, whole money building an elliptical. I think Bash has to go. Ah, I only have one source of one one, that's Thunderclap. Trust the process, guys. Wait, this is an awkward ass turn. Stop it. No. Oh, it's so awkward. Oh. I'm crying tears of joy. I mean, crying tears of pain right now. Oh, you know what we really need, guys? We really need to upgrade corruption. This turn is so awkward. Dragon Base is so important to play, though. Dragon Base is very important to play. Because I have power through for card draw. And then I have all the other exhaust stuff. I don't even have that many skills that corruption hits. I mean, a decent amount. Corruption. Yo. They were hating on my clash. I said, get out of here. Get out of here with that nonsense. I don't want to hear that from you. Wait, no, Clash first. Okay. Oh my god, I almost benobbled my whole life away. Exhum. It's a lovely card.
Oh my god. That fight was glorious. Give me another clash. I want two of them. Just kidding. But maybe? Unless? I don't know. Probably skip. Can I talk about how these... Guys, I'm on floor 21. Can I talk about this? Why are these the options? The fuck is this? Do I need another cleave? Well, strike, no evolve. Well, strike, dark embrace, wound. No evolve is the problem. Attack pot versus flex pot versus region pot. Attack pot might be better. Okay, we talk about this event real quick. I have a lot of things to talk about, and we're just going through all of them. Let's talk about this event real quick, please. Holy shit. Region pot exists. I need to upgrade corruption. I need to upgrade corruption really bad. I can survive a hallway fight with 37 life, yeah? Yes. This is a must. Get this out of my life. Can we talk about this again? Oh my god, I have so many things to talk about. And they all revolve around corruption, drag embrace, and everything else. I need energy, guys. I can't stop talking. Okay, now this is a good turn. I like this. How much do I like it? I don't want to go too crazy. Like, I want to save some skills for the rest of them. But I want to set up feed, so I want to do damage for feed. Can we get close enough for damage for feed? Sneko would be bad here because of pellets. Sneko would be a verify. Verifiable? Please don't tell me I just made up a word. Google time. Verifiably. Verifiably bad. Verifiably. Verifiably. Verifiably bad. There we go. <clears throat> oh, Clash. I blame Battle Trends. Oh my god. This deck's amazing. Holy shit, wait a minute. I've struck gold. One problem. I have feed. I want to get the region pot fully. If I do cleave reaper, I get the healing now. And then I just stall for feed. I've struck gold, and the gold is, I guess, corruption. Obviously. Heal me. Wait. You see, the problem with this is, uh, mm, feed didn't get drawn. Mm, was the region pot worth it? I beg. Your pardon. Was region pot worth it? Eh. We finally got some skills. Holy shit. I 
I mean, I should just go on feed there and not get the region, right? But I also got a Reaper off. But feed was always... I mean, whatever. We'll get more feeds. It's all good. It's in the past. Sp spilled milk. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Kalionius. Kalion... Kalionos. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome back. Three months. Guys, in this time of uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, we might as well call it COVID Twitch Prime. Because I need to remind you guys that Twitch Prime exists. Now, you don't got to use it on me. But use it on somebody and don't let it sit there. How do I fix this real quick? Well, never mind. I can't, I can't offer OBS. I want a true grid. I want to, I want to upgrade trigger. I don't want a non upgraded trigger. That's the problem. But first, we upgrade one of these bad boys. There's two of them. Fuck it, we upgrade this. Bottle flame. Post, yes, more YouTube runs than Jade. I have YouTube runs that I should be posting. I have videos to export. I'm, I, I fall behind. I do have runs that I will start posting more. I apologize to my YouTube audience. Um, yes, I have to export a lot of videos. Alright, do we do Sparkle with this run? Is upgrading one Dark Embrace worth it? Because what if I draw the other one? <laughs> Fuck, okay. Sparkle now, guys? Are we scared? Nah, we ain't scared. We're strong as fuck. Are we? I'm not too sure. I feel like we're strong. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just getting lucky. So, we're going to embrace. That would be nice. Is this worth to play now? This is a world where I can cycle back into it. There's Dark Embrace. I'm not playing that bad boy ever again. There's Dark Embrace. There's Dark Embrace. Boom. Get rid of these. Because, uh... Wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't want to draw into them, but... I guess... I guess we could do this. Let's draw it to feed now. Feed, 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 feed. Boom! Man, feels good to be a gangster. Okay, so Metallic Sash because we need some block in our life. Now Intimidate is interesting because it does AoE weaken. It gives me card draw sometimes. It does Charon's Ashes. It does a lot of things. A triple threat actually. Intimidate is pretty cool. Metallic Sash is a power I play that helps me activate pellets, which is important, but also gives me block because Lord knows I need some block in this deck at some point. And that point is probably now. Intimidate is a weaken though, and weaken is very good mitigation. Let's not get mistaken. Make, that is good mitigation. We do have clothesline to be fair. Intimidate is only much better once Dark Embrace probably already played. Metallicize helps with pellets. This is a tough choice. Well, this is when things get hairy. This is when Harry met Sally, boys. You, you saw that movie? And this is the time. They met on this fight. Harry met Sally on this fight in particular. And this can get kind of good because we can do this. We can get rid of the debuff. So we do boom. 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 
Boom. Now, if we had a chance to draw, we could draw more technically because Battle Transfer is a debuff, but that's not the case. So we carry on our merry way. We have Dragon Brace out. Corruption is the nuts. We find it, we play it, we win. Maybe. I'll be honest, the next couple of turns don't look too great. We're going to need to play this anyways. Now there's a world we do Sever Soul to get rid of Dragon Brace and have a more proactive turn. Maybe play Exhumer Clash. Exhum being the best to hit. There's another world where we play Dark and Brazen Pass. And then by the time we get to the next turn, we are winning almost in disgusting fashion. Two card draws is much better than one, I can tell you that much. Exhum was the best of the options. I said that, but why? I said that, but why? It may be not be that good of an option. Because I don't actually have power through in my discard like I thought I did. So I was wrong. Straight up wrong. We can draw out the Clash and Sunders Bane, get it out of the deck now. Take 25 to the face. And get those things out of the deck. Exhum is missing a lot of value by playing it now. Next up on the chopping block, let's find out what needs to be removed. It probably want to remove. Seversoul has a place, but Seversoul's place is completely overshadowed by Second Wind doing the same thing but better. So we're removing Seversoul, and we have two Second Winds to do the same thing. So Seversoul is the next removal. All right, no big deal. You see, about this turn. Let's go for lethal. I want a Reaper off. Was it worth to wait for Reaper? Is it worth to wait for Reaper here? Ah, uh, too late, buddy. I have a serious, serious gripe with the developers of the game offering this relic in a time where Pandora's box has been applied. Excuse me? You know what's even worse? Floor 55 strike dummy after you fight the Act 4 Elite. Is that worse? I can't tell. This is great. Now what this means, guys, is that with the pellets, sometimes I can get three strength at the start of a turn. Granted, I get a power at the opening hand. So you know what would be nice? Brutality would be nice. Brutality is a power. Gives me an extra card draw turn. It helps me get three strength. There's also a world where we're like, hey, you know what? I don't like the Sever Soul. And I'm kind of liking how... I like every other card. Maybe Rampage can go. Transform Rampage and Sever Soul. I still think Midnight Drink has too much value. In the potential world of pellets. And boom, what do you know? We've got the corruption, baby. And just as we predicted, three strength is ours. You know what's unfortunate? We lose buffer, and I don't want to have that happen. So let's not forget a couple of things. And those things are... Wait.
Reaper. Feed. Wait, how much damage is this? Slow down. At six reflected plus three, nine. We can still get feed buff. I'll take 10 for feed. I'm taking 10 for feed. I'm taking 10 for feed. Temper feed. Temper pedic. Temper feed. Temper feed. Temper feed. Temper feed. Temper feed. Cowabunga, baby. Now, if I play any card there, aka True Grit, at 6 damage, because 2 exhaust. Couldn't do it. Oh, technically, I could True Grit the Sender's Bane. You're right. You're 100% right. I could have drawn it out. You're very right. Damn. I did the, the non-optimal non play. Dark Embrace True Grit. I saved life. Oh, fuck me. No, no, no. no. You were right. You were right. It was actually 3 damage only. Uh, I made a mistake. Anyways. No, you were right. You were right. You were right. True Grit could... No, because if I trigger the Sender's Bane, then the Sender's Bane is not, no longer an issue. No, True Grid exhausts itself. I was right. True Grid exhausts itself and exhausts another card. I was right. I was right. No, you were wrong. I was right. Thank you. Draco. Don't confuse me again. Ah. Anyways, so Burning Pact. Wait, wait, wait. Can we talk about Flex with Pellets? Flex pellets. Nope, we have five weaknesses. All right, so burning pack is sometimes good, yeah. Burning pack is, burning pack is fine. All right, what's the next upgrade? Want to upgrade the second dark embrace so whenever we find it, it's playable. But you know what's really good, guys? Power through. Can I talk about how good power through is for blocking? Is our goddamn saving grace. At what, what point do we say power through needs to be upgraded? Who's the boss? Collector? Hmm. Juice box, juice box break. Guabas. Hmm. Yummy. Okay. This is so important. But power through is going to be next. All right, so if we play this, then this, then this, into that? No, Sever Soul, why do you gotta get rid of it? Ah, wait, I did the order wrong. Ah, fuck. Order in the court, order in the court. The point is I can get a lot of strength now, but I get rid of one spot weakness. Ah, uh, do I care? It's too late now. Okay, how early can I do corruption in this fight? But I could have got the strength for strength anyways, you know? I don't know if we do corruption this early. Exhum can scale up again. I got rid of one of my... I might, I might have to do flex by it. If I flex by then we're fine. If we're flex by, we're fine, right? Flex by gives me the strength we need, we're fine. That's a lot of damage to get through, though. That's a lot of damage. To get. That's 275 life. And we don't dump strength in the best way. 
But if we don't corruption now, we're losing buffer really tragically. We're losing buffer for 2 HP, that's tragic. He's a, a tragic, I said. In terms of final about corruption, yeah, the buffer is the only thing I don't like losing. It feels quite bad. I started off with the first misplay of the fight with the uh Exhum I guess in a weird way Exhum could be good for Reaper again. Do I like it better for strength scaling instead? What about weaken? AoE weaken. If I had a power I can get a lot of card draw here. Do you want the strength scaling or AoE weaken? Maybe strength scaling. Probably strength scaling, yeah? Kill the minions. If he resummons, he's gonna feel bad though, right? But we're actually kinda hella strong at the moment. Should we focus on the boss? Because these guys are going to die incidentally to the Charon's Ashes. So we can take this damage to the face. They're going to die incidentally to Charon's Ashes. And then I can focus all the damage on the boss. Cleave is also coming up next turn. I saved life versus being efficient with damage. And getting Cleave next turn. Potentially. Oh my god, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at, look at this. Oh my god, it's too good. Someone slow it down. I'm gonna draw Dispel Weakness, you ready? Okay. Um. Well, I now need a power for this uh, collector thing. So. Well, is armaments worth it here? Or is it rather just like Weak and Cleave? I think just right Weak and Cleave here. I could leave him up for Reaper, I suppose. Corruption now would be great. The guy's almost dead. Oh my god, why is Pathfinder so good? Is Reaper now worth it? Let's get the healing right now. Only if I draw into Corruption, it feels bad. I'm scared to draw because I don't want to draw into corruption. I want to pick corruption next turn. So I don't want to draw. Because if I draw corruption, it's going to feel really bad. But the deck's small enough I can draw back, I guess. It's a good, decent healing, but he also might... He's not summoning, actually, so... I, I don't want to play... Because I draw two cards. If I draw corruption, it, it might mess me up next turn, but it's also not that big of a deal. I could just do this instead. He's summoning again. Should I go for the feed this turn? Can I go for the feed this turn? Uh, do you want to get Reaper on the fight off? Like, I guess I could get Reaper on the minions and then go for the kill then. then. Technically, yeah. I think I could just kill this from a feed, but maybe I want to get Reaper off first. The power through is nuts right now. I can draw to my whole hand next turn, right? I can draw to all this stuff again next turn.
Oh, your Reaper here. Well, these are all pretty good. We got Flex Pot, we can hold on to. Limit Break scales so fast, you're thinking, what? And you have Reaper, which is very good for the deck. So it's between Limit Break and Reaper. Do we want Limit Break for a quicker scaling? Because right now we're doing Spot Weakness and that's it. And sometimes we have Mutagenic Strength. Or is the second Reaper better? Market Pain with Medkit and Dark Embrace. Dare say Market Pain is probably okay here. As a world, we do Empty Cage and we remove Doubt and we remove Sever Soul. If you remove Doubt and Sever Soul, the deck is Lean Queen uh, Cuisine. Lean, lean Mean cu Cuisine. If you remove these two cards. The Market Pain, sometimes if I have Mark Dark Embrace out, is actually this card draw. Problem is when Dragon Race is not out and we still want to remove Cypress Soul. Anyways, how many elites can I do? Two? We want Mind Bloom. So let's look for events. One, two, or three. Three events here. Ooh, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. We could ten potentially do like one, two, three elites, maybe. You guys want to do three elites? But I want to get a shop. So let's do two elites and some events. Or do we want three leads? Go for the shop. God. I'm in love. I'm in love. Power through is so good. So we're gonna do, try to get double feet on this fight. That would require me to have Dragon Brace out. So, the number one thing we're looking for, guys, the absolutely most important thing for two reasons is Dragon Brace bottles for mutagenic strength to get this limit break going, but also Dragon Brace is so crucial to the deck. Bottled Tornado from Dragon Brace wins the game, hands down. Only problem here is uh, I want to get double feed, but I have to let go of my greed and say double feed is not going to happen. Unless. Unless it's not gonna happen. Can I get a singular feed at least? So ghostly armor. Necessary or not? I mean, it's a skill and it does block. A skill for corruption and dark embrace and then block attached to it. Seems okay. Maybe you just want more power throughs. I mean, obviously, but we're not getting off of power throughs. Does this deck run out of steam? I feel like this deck runs out of steam. We can take this, right? This helps. Twelve strength, turn one, baby. Let's 
Yikers. Where's feed? Where's feed? There's feed. Dark Embrace bottled. A huge. We win. Dark Embrace bottled, baby. Huge. You know what's cool here? You could you could upgrade Lemon Break. You could do that. But you could also do this. That's a little bit colder. Are we fast enough? Yes. Cool man. This thing's cool beans. This shit is cool beans. Where's my feed? I need my feed. Where's my feed? Boom. Okay, so we're getting caught up in the solitaire of this all. This is a very solitary deck. We don't need these cards. Warcry, not necessary. All right, cool. Bottle tornado. Damn. But we got another funeral pain. That's pretty good. Maybe remove Sever Soul. Is Sever Soul okay now? What about Seen Red? Second funeral pain. What about a Seen Red for energy and exhaust stuff? Eh, underwhelming. So funeral pain number two feels good. Now, do we want to just remove the doubt at this point? Or Sever Soul is a little bit better with full energy, right? So maybe we keep Sever Soul. So let's remove the pain. How about that? We don't like the pain. Let's do that one. Or are we wasting our money? Nah, let's remove the pain. Let's remove the pain. Any potions we like here? Yeah, I think Flexbot's pretty good for us. Let's upgrade these bad boys. I'm sure we're gonna run out of this team. Can we do this fight quick enough? That's like I'm not sure. I have to flex out for this fight. I don't wanna lose buffer there. I was gonna do bludgeon, that was a big bludgeon. I didn't want to lose buffer though. Alright, so we need to maybe do flex fight living break? That's wasting flex fight, which is really good for the heart, but I don't know. This fight. I mean, I see. Technically, we could just do corruption, dark embrace, and just like kill them in one turn, maybe, because of slow. Maybe slow just kills this guy. If 
Funny how we buff in a pain of servo pain, I know. <laughs> Maybe slow close this guy. Alright guys, it's time to test the theory of slow can kill this man. So I really want to play spot weak. Ah, I need to play spot weakness for strength skilling because I need to play limit break. And I don't want to draw again. Oh my god, this is rough, guys. I need energy. Because if I draw again, I draw to the next spot weakness, which I want for next turn. Let me start popping off. But I don't want to lose buffer. So that's just the price you have to pay. Oh. Okay. Did we do exhum on some random ass shit? So I want to save exhum for limit break, but maybe we just do exhum for random ass shit just to get card draw this turn. Potentially, potentially save buffer. So by random ass shit, I mean like we do it on intimidate. So do we pop corruption now and pop off? Now we're ready to go? Approximately yes. See what I see? Man, this turn feels good. God damn, this turn feels good, dude. God damn, this turn feels good. Or Sentinel. Sentinel gives me energy. Limit Break gives me... Alright, so if we hold on to Flex Pot for the heart and have two Limit Breaks, we surely have enough time. I mean, win. Sentinel's energy, yes. But Limit Break, number two with Flex Pot, surely wins the game. Do we need to second Limit Break when we have two spot weaknesses already? And we have Mutagenic Strength sometimes. Sometimes we have Mutagenic Strength. Sometimes we have spot weaknesses popping off. And then every time... Every, uh, then we have limit break for the rest of the scaling. The second one can help go even further beyond. Modern Shrink Pot is actually just better than Tropic Brew. If we were to upgrade a card, it's the Funeral Pain. Alright. Bottle tornado, bottle tornado, bottle tornado. The second limit break means sometimes I get immunogenic strength. Turn one for limit break. That's actually so genius that I didn't even think about it. Guess I'm a dummy.
Yes, they do have synergy. Yep, yep, yep. See, Dark Embrace is so good for us. It's uh, it's quite hard to pinpoint how good it is for us. I no, I have lethal, right? Do I do I do flex for lethal? I think saying flex right for the heart is so important. So what I'm gonna do is this. No matter what. Wait, can we upgrade this to make it not exhaust? Oh, we have corruption in play. Sorry. <laughs> Whoopsies. Reaper to feed. So that is okay. So heavy. Sorry, Snaven. I don't know if you're here, man. Heavy blade is actually good here. Are we bloated? Should I ask my doctor that and not you guys? Maybe. Oh, we got strength though. We play an attack and a skill. We get rid of his thing. Buffer covers the rest. And the guy wastes a turn. Beautiful. Play one more attack and one more skill. Does nothing because that turn didn't need to do anything. Uh, wasted damage. Oh, whoops. This is the turn I meant to do it on. Now we do this and then that into this, 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 this into that is not lethal. But who cares because we got blocked for days. Close to lethal. I want to get back into that. I don't want to do too much damage because I want the guy to give me feed. So we're gonna do this. Let's find Dragon Brace first, and then you do that. And now our goal is Reaper and feed. Reaper's not important. Just, just feed. And just feed. Okay, and just feed. Can't say I didn't try. You can't say I didn't try. Alrighty, so Havoc? If we save for Flex Spot for the Heart, I don't see how we lose. Let me put that into the ether. So just in case I'm wrong, you guys can clip it and make me feel bad. And if I'm right, hey, when well, no one cares. The price I'd pay for damage, boys. The price I'd pay. Yikes. If 
we skill up enough, Reaper is good here. But wait, can't we potentially get double feed? Huh. We won with the silent, lost the defects, uh, something happened with the watcher, and then we're probably gonna win this. This is net positive, yeah? Now let's look for a feed, a singular feed, I guess. I was gonna double feed, but then I changed my mind. Uh, did I get greedy? Should I just like double feed? Should I have been greedy? Maybe, right? Power through finally gets upgraded. Now, what's the best upgrade? Do we want to upgrade one one limit break so we can play one of them early? Because we have flex putt now and we have mutagenic strength, so maybe we want to upgrade one limit break. Power through deserves an upgrade. Has been uh, carrying me. That's what I've been doing. Trying to think of a word. Carry is the word I was looking for. Berserk Plus doesn't mean anything because of pellets. Funeral Pain early. Oh, we got Mutagenic Strength. Let's see what we get here. Oh my GG brother. I'll be honest, I can probably corruption with this hand. Not being able to attack with corruption is the problem. Saving buffer is important. I want to use five weakness. I really do. Trust me. But I think saving buffer. Am I being stupid? Let's be real. Spot weakness is so much more important. Like, sure, I can get value out of buffer here. But we have Reaper and Limit Breaks in the deck. Why the hell do I care if I lose a little bit of life? Normally, you'd be like, man, I can save Buffer or Trigger here. In this situation, we go for Strength Scaling. Oh boy. Oh gee. This is Papa Limit Break Scaling. Okay, now uh, we get a Reaper up before the fight's over, maybe get a feed, and GG. No woman, no cry. Heavy Blade is good here. Whoa. Is that real damage? Is that a real amount of damage I'm seeing right now? God damn. God damn. I want to set up feed. Set up feed. How do I get feed off here? Fuck. The answer is I can't. 
if I get the start there, then the heart is not a problem. I can guarantee that one. Yep, yep, yep. This is true. Oh my god, days are just so good for the deck. You, you, you made a mistake, my friend. You made a mistake. You shouldn't have given me the days. Right, let's get feet off in this fight. Who's next? Okay, this hand's a little bit worse. This hand's a little bit worse. Can't vouch for this hand. That's a yikes. And it keeps on coming. I got rid of my attack. Ain't that some shit? Do I ever exhume to get the attack back? Coaching associate, no problem, man. We got heavy blade for you. I mean. I have so much like that it's stupid what I just said is the stupidest thing I've ever said I just said some nonsense thing came out of my mouth I said do I ever just nonsense to be honest with so much life why would I ever worry sometimes I forget I have 150 life This health was made for losing, so that's just what I'll do. I'm gonna lose all this health, I'm gonna rape all over you. This health was made for losing, so that's just what I'll do. I'm gonna lose all this health, and then I'm gonna rape all over you. So what I want to do actually is... um. I kind of want to play Corruption and then go for the win because we have approximately enough strength. Oh joy, this guy is trying to kill me! Not so fast, brother. Not if I can stop it. Smack him. Boom. Alright. GG, guys. GG. Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna Reaper then feed all over you. I told you I'm gonna do it, so I'm gonna, gonna do it. Here it comes, here it comes, la la loo. Boom. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, what's next? Wait, we have enough for Bottle Tornado. Please, Arn Jesus, give me Bottle Tornado, please. It doesn't count, correct, no. Okay, not Bottle Tornado, but a Duplication Pot. Now, Duplication Pot, wait, that's a Flex Pot. All right, two questions, guys. I got two questions. Dupe Pot, we could do Dupe Pot, uh, Funeral Pain, get a lot of shit ton of sh block. Maybe even Dupe Pot, Limit Break. Or we could do Flex Pot, Flex Pot, Limit Break Scale to the heavens and back. 
Reaper to heal back up. Once we get Corruption Dark and Brace out, we're never taking damage. And then we kill them in three or four turns. Did I just convince myself on Flex Spot? Probably. I mean, this is always good. Frozen Eye is always good. And it helps me see when I'm getting the minute breaks and always see when I can do my things. So that means I don't get Evolve if I take Frozen Eye. I'll do it for the I'll do it for the lulls. Corruption now, funeral pain coming up, limit break coming up. So we can play limit break, funeral pain this turn if I get rid of rampage, but I need the attack. So do I get rid of corruption? Do I get rid of intimidate? Is it a little early for corruption? How do we block next turn? Next turn, they're doing shit, approximately shit ton of damage. I guess we can take the damage to the face, heal back up with Reaper and feed. Yeah, I guess taking damage to the face is always what we're going to do anyways, huh? So corruption now then? Dog in the room. Alright. What's Dark Embrace? Dark Embrace at the bottom of the deck? Okay. Kill one of them and Reaper off the other one. Crying boy, you beautiful crying boy, who needs all the love and affection in the world. And I'm here for you, buddy. What's wrong, buddy? All right, let's get Reaper off. Buddy, are you with me here? We need to get Reaper off. You hear me? Reaper's very far in, buddy. We gotta get there. Buddy, we gotta get there. I need him to be healthy enough for Reaper to be poggers. Actually, I need a Reaper for approximately 70? Wait, he doesn't have that much life. That's a problem. Uh, okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Is it a little bit disappointing? Yeah. Do 
Dragon Base is here, Corruption is here. Dragon Base over here. The double funeral pan at the bottom. Whoa, okay. Next turn, we can't get rid of the debuff. So if next turn is a big hit, we're fine, and then we can get rid of the debuff the following turn. So we need next turn to be the big hit, please. Tropic for the fuck of it. I want to save flex spot for the limit break, but I mean, we, we, can, we can take a hit. We're fine. We can take a hit. He won't be vulnerable next turn. He'll be weakened. He won't be vulnerable. We're fine. Is it ever worth it to do second win now and get, get rid of one limit break so it's in the exhum pile? So do we want the exhum pile to be limit break or do we want exhum for Le Reaper potentially? It's probably just exhum for limit break because we want to go for lethal, right? So if I do this now, I save some life. Saving that life is really not that important, to be honest. That life's not that important. It's 14 life. Skills are more important once Funeral Pain's out. So skills are more important when Funeral Pain is out. We can push for some damage. Once the funeral pains out, the skills are a lot more important. Yo, thank you for the Twitch Prime RK2 King. Thank you for Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, it should be said that Twitch Prime is available to probably some of you guys, and you don't have to use it on me, but use it as a free subscription to anybody. 32 damage? I don't think we're gonna need it. What? It's one damage for 32 damage. That seems worth. All right. He won't be vulnerable, and he's gonna be weakened. So. We also have, uh, I'm not sure it exists, but. Do we want a corruption early? That's the problem. Like, there's a world where we don't even battle trans right now. Nice, Tempest, nice. I don't want a corruption that early, right? I mean, once Corruption, Dragon, Brace, Fiddle, Pains are out, we win the game. We can draw out the Void in the Days now. I need to get closer. So my funeral paints like much closer, right? Fairy in the box. <laughs> GG. How we win? I mean, there was not, I wasn't worried, but like now I'm not worried. I'm trying to think though. We um, next turn, I said I just do limit break. I want to get closer to. I said I draw. I don't need these cards next turn, right? We draw two more cards. 
So we don't need these two cards, and then we next turn we have one, two, three, four, five. We play limit break. Draw into one, two, three, one, two, three. We get berserk out. And then we next turn we have power through dark and base funeral. Okay, huge. GG. Do I ever want to upgrade limit break? I like the fact that it exhausts, right? I could save some life, I suppose. Wait. Is that result now? One, two, three, four. It gets rid of these this it gets rid of the doubt and gets rid of these two things, and then it draws into one, two, three, four, five, six. Which gives me one, two, three, four, five, six. And the following turn we have funeral. We don't have the energy for all that stuff. So no. But we do need an attack for Berserk, right? Not necessarily, because next turn we can do Dark Embrace. Power through Heavy Blade. But then we want to play Evolve. We have 5 energy, so we can do Dark Embrace. Power through Heavy Blade, Funeral Pain. Let me draw into Reaper, though. Wait, this is, this is awkward. This is awkward. It's a little bit awkward, actually. I'll do this now, play Berserk, play Dark Embrace, then I don't get to play Evolve or Fiddle Pain. Let me play Berserk now. Okay. The problem is, maybe if we do 1, 2, 3, 4 card draw, 1, 2, 3, 4. Or if we just play, our, if we just play the powers now. We do power through. We can play evolve. And next time we have dark embrace, you can pin reaper. If you can pin again.
GG. All right, boys. All right. So I was kind of lost in the sauce there. My bad. I didn't say a single word in that fight. I don't think. <laughs> I was just kind of uh, just frozen eye. That's what frozen eye does. You either talk or you frozen eye. All right, GG boys. I mean, throwing the bottle was nice, but not necessary. I always was confident that once we get Dark Embrace, Corruption, out, we heal back up with Reaper, and the game's over, so. We got a little bit low in life, but it wasn't too much of a big deal.